guys, it's Jessica, and welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys know, I love baking and I do a lot of baking videos on this channel. But, I wanted to try something new where I actually bake with someone else, which I only really baked with my sister. So, I'm gonna try to <laughs> bake with someone new and I decided to do this Francesca Sugar Rush baking competition and have my friend Elena from Elena and Clara take on this competition with me. Three, two, one. This is Sugar Rush. So in this video I'm gonna be choosing one of Sugar Rush's many ideas that they do on their show and I'm gonna be choosing my all-time favorite which is cupcakes. Round one cupcakes that is quite a presentation. But unlike Sugar Rush, this time you guys are going to be the judges of who wins this competition. You're going to watch till the end of my video to see my cupcakes, and then you're going to watch Elena's video on Elena and Clara to see her cupcakes. And then if you're watching this video right after it comes out, you can just go ahead and go to my Instagram story. And there will be a poll and you can vote on who wins or you can go on Elena's Instagram, which her name will also be here, and vote on her Instagram story as well. But if you're seeing this a little later on, then you can just go ahead and go on my community section on YouTube and there will be a permanent poll there which you can vote on. So go ahead and check those out and stay tuned to see how it goes. So every good cupcake is going to need a theme. So for this theme, it's going to be candy, like straight up cupcakes you could find in a candy store. So let's see how Lena's feeling about this idea. Hey Francesca, thank you so much for letting me be part of this challenge. First of all, I love the Sugar Rush theme, it is so fun. I'm really glad you chose cupcakes and not birthday cakes because I know your birthday cakes are out of this world and I would not be able to be as good as you. And I think the candy theme is absolutely awesome. But you have put a time limit on the challenge so I need to be careful and I need to work quickly. Because I'm not used to baking under a time limit. But I do have a few tricks up my sleeve, so hopefully this will be good. Fingers crossed. Well, I'm happy to hear that she's excited about the challenge, but I better be on top of my game because it sounds like she has a plan. Alright, so I got my apron on and I'm ready to get going. We both have three hours to complete our cupcakes and the time starts now. For my cupcakes, I think I'm going to do two flavors like vanilla and chocolate. I'm going to focus on the vanilla with more of the bright candy, you know? And the chocolate side is going to be more like Twix, Snickers, stuff like that. So I have a pretty good plan and I have a visual of what I want my cupcakes to look like, so let's make it happen. So, I'm going to be starting with my vanilla cupcakes, and that means dry ingredients first. Let's get to work. Here's my flour, my baking powder, some salt, and whisk. And for wet ingredients, we're going to have a fourth of a cup of butter. Now let's beat the butter. Now it's time for the sugar, and let's beat it together. Time to beat in two eggs. Here's one. And two. And now we need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You know, obviously for vanilla cupcakes. Now we need one and a half teaspoon of vegetable or canola oil. Okay, so I have my vanilla cupcake batter ready, and now let's do the chocolate one. So I have three different colors. I have blue, yellow, and pink that I'm going to put in different like patterns and orders. For this one, I'm going to do some blue and pink combined. Okay, I have my batter in the tray, and I'm honestly wondering how Elaine is doing. Hey, Francesca! Things here are going pretty good, so let me give you a quick update. I just finished my cupcake mix, and they are in the oven now. The mix actually turned out surprisingly really good. You know, sometimes the mix can go a little bit wrong, but I'm really happy with it, so they're cooking. And now I now have my mixer cleaned, and I'm ready to start my frosting. Did she just say she was about to start on the frosting? I better get these in the oven and hurry up. All right. Phew. Okay guys, so the vanilla cupcakes just came out of the oven and they're super colorful. Um, I let them get a little flat. They were really dome, like a dome shape, but I took them out a little early so they get a little flat because it's easier to pipe that way. And I'm super excited for these. I love chocolate, so these are gonna be so yummy. Okay, so since the cupcakes are in the oven, I'm just going to start on the frosting because there is no time to waste. Time is already running out and yeah, I need to get started on this frosting. So I'm just doing uh, whipped cream frosting with some mascarpone cheese and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Time for the sugar and I'm kind of just eyeballing it because I don't really use measurements for frosting. So here we go. I finished my frosting and it's looking great. Super smooth and silky. Now it's time to go check on my chocolate cupcakes, see how they're doing, and see if they're ready to come out or not. 
Oh my goodness, they look and smell amazing. Just like the perfect chocolate cupcake. I can't wait till they cool off and I can start piping them. Okay, so it's time to let the fun really begin. It's time to decorate. And I am running short on time, so I better get this decoration done and ready. And overall do it quick because I don't want to have to, you know, have to rush myself. So I have all kinds of frosting colors. I have purple, yellow, blue, and pink all in pastels, and I just have plain white. And then I have so much candy, so much colors and delicious, and it smells like a candy store right now. And I just wish I could just dig in and eat it right up with a spoon, but I'll have plenty of, you know, plenty of cupcake candy on the cupcakes. So let's start. So I carved a little hole in the cupcake and I'm gonna fill it with some nerds. So when you cut it open, there's like a cute little surprise. Oh, that can happen. Yeah, just did. All right, well, that's what's going to happen when you cut into the cupcake or bite into it or whatever. Now we're going to type the really cool swirl. So here we go. But I'm blessed Didn't know it take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cause I'm a mess No more you So cool. Okay, so since I love this triple swirl, I'm gonna go ahead and do it for one of the chocolate cupcakes since I really like it and I don't wanna put it to waste. All right, this time the surprise will actually be liquidy. So, oh, here we have some melted caramel. And for some of these, these are gonna be Snickers themed. So some of them are gonna have some caramel and um, caramel and roasted peanuts with some crunch. Okay, so for this one, I'm doing plain white and this one I'm doing just peanut butter. Ta-da! All right, let's do this drizzle. Okay, so all my 12 cupcakes are piped and they're ready to go for candy. You know, gotta go all out for the candy because that is the whole theme and the whole point of these. So. We're gonna, I was kind of rushing on time, but I feel like now that I just have the candy left, I'm more relaxed and we are a few minutes away from finishing. So let's get these cupcakes done. I wonder what Elena's up to though. I haven't heard from her in a while. So Francesca, I'm really starting to feel the heat. I'm feeling a little bit under pressure. My cupcakes came out of the oven. They look good and I've iced some of them, but not all of them. So I really need to hurry up because I've got a lot of decoration to do. That's so why if I want to be finished before time runs out, I really need to get my skates on. Elena, there's no need to be under pressure and now your cupcakes are looking great and you're really close to being done. So keep up the good work and I'm going to finish my cupcakes. So I'll see you guys when they're done. Okay, there's like 15 seconds on the clock. I need to hurry up. And time's up, and I think I finished. Okay, if this was, I tried to take my time, but I also kind of rushed. Okay, they look like just you walked right into a candy store. Oh my goodness! I literally took up the entire three hours. I can't believe I finished though. Felt like so much longer, but. Whew. All right, they are done. That was a lot of work, but they are so done and so worth every minute. They are so colorful and the chocolate ones are so chocolatey and they have so much like decorations. The chocolate ones actually have little football and baseball lollipops, which I think looks so cool. And there's also a chocolate one with some bright colored M&Ms and a watermelon. <laughs> so I think they look very colorful. I think I nailed the colorfulness. It's literally like blinding. <laughs> I think this one is my favorite. I love this lollipop and I love the colors. And I actually have a pink drizzle on this one and I think all of them look so great together. Oh, and there's also a star lollipop. They just are all so uniquely different and I think, <sighs> I think I, Really nailed the candy theme. They look incredibly candy-ish, whatever. <laughs> so now that my cupcakes are done, it is time for you to head over to Elena and Clara's channel and watch Elena's video and check out her cupcakes. And like I said, if you're watching this video right after I posted it, 
then you can go ahead and go on my Instagram story. My name is on the screen. And vote on the, vote on the poll on the Instagram story. And if you're a little later, go ahead and go to my community section on my YouTube channel. And there's a permanent poll that you can vote on there. Planus, um, cupcakes look so great. They're so colorful and so bright. But it's up to you to decide who is the official winner of this Sugar Rush baking competition. I had so much fun and I would love to do this a million times over again, like every day. I love baking and making these cupcakes just brought so much joy with every little swirl. It was so colorful and just, they are so positive looking cupcakes. So definitely Leo will be digging into these because I've had enough candy just picking a little candy here and there while I was decorating. So Leo will definitely dig into these and they'll be gone by tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to vote. We are counting on you to decide who's the winner. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I love you so much. Bye.